Hello kings and queens, I'll be showing you today how I make my spaghetti squash. Stay tuned! Yeah, I'm using the yellow squash, literally called spaghetti squash. So I'll be cutting this in half and then save the other half for another recipe. And I'm splitting this half into another half and then scoop out the seed. So I'm getting this ready for baking. I'll drizzle it with a little bit of oil. Uh, olive oil is good, but uh, coconut oil, or feel free to use whatever oil you like. And some salt. So you can add more seasoning if you want, but I'm keeping it simple today. So olive oil and salt, and then start baking. I'm placing my squash upside down just because I want to prevent um, over uh, darkening of the inside of the squash. Now I'll be baking this at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes. And you will know that it is ready when you poke your squash with a fork, it will be softer because before placing it in the oven, it was really hard. So now my spaghetti squash is done cooking. I'll be using my, my fork to just fluff it. And you see that you're noticing the texture. It's just, that's the natural texture. It comes out like, you know, spaghetti-like texture. And it is really good. What I like about this uh, squash is it's low uh, in carb. So perfect for uh, low carb dieters like myself. <laughs> And also, it is keto friendly, so yeah, uh, give it a try. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment when possible, and share. Share and share. Thank you. To tell you the truth, I love having my squash like this, just salt and pepper and um, I'm done. But yeah, you can have it with um, any kind of meat you want. Baked salmon, it's perfect with uh, this squash. You can drizzle some spaghetti sauce over it with meatball, creamy sauce, anything. So the sky is the limit. Try it and you will not miss the real spaghetti. <laughs> And one thing is you don't need to, uh, you know, fluff all the squash with a fork right away. You can save the cooked uh, squash in a fridge for uh, up to a week. Just cover it uh, a little and then you should be fine. Uh, when you need to use it, just take it out, heat it up a little and, you know, fluff a little bit more with your fork and uh, enough for your serving and you should be fine. Thanks kings and queens. Thank you so much for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I'll be talking to you in my next video. Bye-bye.